Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Hope everyone is doing well today. I have a very important message I would like to share with you guys. It's the most important message you could ever hear in your life. And this message will determine where you will spend your eternity. Because the reality, my friends, is that this life is temporary. Life is short. And one day you and I will stand before God and will be judged according to all that we have done on this earth, whether good or bad. But the problem is, my friends, is that no one is good. All have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. We are all imperfect. And that is why we have been separated from God, because God is perfect. God is holy. And God cannot let the guilty go unpunished. And that is why, my friends, that if you, if you die in your sins, my friends, you will be punished for the sins that you have committed. But I have good news for you today. There is a way for your sins to be forgiven. And that way is Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God. 2,000 years ago, Jesus came on this earth. The Bible says that the purpose for his life was to save us from our sins. Why? Because we are sinners. We have broken God's law. We have lied, stolen, cheated. Every single one of us has committed sin in our lives. And the Bible says that the wages of sin is death. The consequence for sin is death. That is why you need a savior. And that is why Jesus came on this earth. And Jesus was the only person in the history of mankind who could live without sin. And so therefore Jesus was qualified to become the perfect sacrifice when he died on the cross for your sins. My friends, this is the greatest historical event that ever happened in human history. It was the true story of Jesus Christ of Nazareth who came on this earth, who lived the perfect life that no man could live, and he hung on the cross for your sins. And the Bible says that three days after Jesus died, he rose again from the dead. He was seen by many witnesses, and the people who saw him testified of what they have seen and heard, that Jesus is alive. And I can tell you today, that the same message is true today. Jesus is alive today, and he's calling you to believe in his name, and he's calling you to repent of your sins. So the message that I have for you today is very simple. The way to go to heaven is faith in Jesus Christ. You must believe that Jesus is the Son of God. You must believe that Jesus died for your sins. You must believe that Jesus resurrected from the dead. And also you must repent of your sins, which means you must recognize that you have sinned against God. You must ask God to forgive you of your sins. And you must make a decision to turn away from your sins and to follow Jesus Christ with all your heart. If you make that decision, my friends, you can have assurance that your sins are forgiven. You can have assurance that you are on your way to heaven, but you must repent and believe the gospel you must believe in what the bible says that jesus the son of god died for your sins and he rose again from the dead so i want to encourage you today to think about your eternal soul the bible says what will it profit for you to gain the whole world what will it profit for you to make money to be successful to have a good career what will it profit you if in the end you will lose your soul? You cannot take your money to the grave. You cannot take your family to the grave. The only thing that you will take is your spirit and your soul. And the Bible says that if you reject this message, there is no hope for eternal life. But if you believe in the gospel, then you shall be saved. You shall be forgiven and you will have eternal life, my friends.